The Mix console is highly configurable, and this also means that we can set up configurations for specific recording and mixing purposes. For example, at the start of the recording process, I might want to see all of my racks and have them available. So I can set up the configuration of the racks, and then when I'm happy, go up to the configuration menu and select add configuration. I'm saving this as C1 for configuration one. Now, as we move through the recording process and get into the mixing process, perhaps there's racks that we just don't want to see, or maybe we don't want to see all of them. For example, I may not need to see my routing or my QSENs. So then I can go over to the racks menu and select the racks that I want to see, which is really just tidying up my mixer. I can also select things like what tracks I want to see and track types. For instance, maybe I don't need to see my input channels anymore, or maybe my MIDI channels. So I can go through this menu here and select or weed out exactly what I don't want to see and focus on what I do want to see. I can also go over to the visibility in the left zone and deselect some of those tracks. I can go back and save this as a new configuration. I'm saving this as C2 for configuration 2, and I can recall both the configurations that I've saved just by selecting C1 and of course selecting C2. Now that I'm in the C2 configuration, I can open up some of the rack views or even go over to the left hand side and maybe select a few more tracks that I need to see. To update the configuration, I simply go back to the menu and select update configuration. And now when I recall C1 and then back to C2, you'll notice that it's recalled that exact mix view that I had previously. It's a really simple but highly efficient workflow feature in the mix console in Cubase.